Good evening everyone all the way from Thailand. Today's question is how do we control our mind and how do we control our thoughts? And the answer is we don't. Uh, we can eventually get there but I think for starting out let's rephrase that and instead of trying to control instead of trying to force it instead what we can do is let's train our mind let's train our thoughts one of a big concept in buddhism that we need to understand is monkey mind and monkey mind means the nature of the mind it just jumps an uh, untrained mind will go from one thing to the next one thought to the next <laughs> one story to the next and it's fast it will jump to the future it will jump to the past in a matter of seconds and without even us knowing it jumps and just like a monkey it goes from branch to branch to branch so then what do we do First, we have to know that this is the nature and that this is normal. Instead of trying to force this monkey, what we can do is train it and we do that by giving it a tool. So many of the people out there, you don't have monkeys, <laughs> so it's not as easy to relate to. But let me use another example that many people can relate to, and that is training a puppy. How many of you have puppies out there? And when we first get our puppy, it's so cute. And it's all over the place. That is just the nature of a puppy. <laughs> it's going through everything. It's a bit wild. And what we have to do is to train it. We have the dog, we have the puppy come to sit. And this is the first step that people start with, sit. And what happens? The puppy runs away. It's not going to sit. <laughs> and then what we need to do instead is we need to give this puppy a treat. And this treat will start to anchor it. And this is what we have to do with the mind. And one of the things that many people uh, ask our master regarding our mind is when it comes to meditation, how many times should you meditate a day? And his answer is two times a day. Very simple, right? And it's once with your eyes open and also once with your eyes closed. But really meditation is a tool that we can use to start to train the mind. When we sit with our eyes closed, then we use an anchor point. There are so many different tools out there. There's 40. We can use our breath, just being aware of it. We can use our body and our posture, just uh, recall that. We can use the center of our body. We can use a visualization like the sun, a bright full sun, a bright full moon, a crystal ball, any object that feels good to you. You can use the center of the body, but the list goes on and on. And what that does, it, it anchors the body. The mind will go outside your mind will go to an emotion and a story and what just happened two seconds ago or what happened 10 years ago it doesn't matter it will keep jumping again this is the nature of the mind so using this anchor point we bring the mind back over and over and over again and that's with the formal sitting meditation with our eyes closed another way we can practice that in our daily life is with your eyes open just being mindful and you can use these anchors the same way bring your mind back and i want to challenge you and give you a little homework assignment of after you're done watching this video try for the next hour or for the next day how many times can you bring your mind back to yourself notice it and catch it oh wow my mind <laughs> went there again oh my mind jumped there no problem and bring it back and just like the puppy that I shared with you before just like the monkey uh, and the monkey mind is when we force the puppy to sit we yell at it we're forceful it defeats the purpose instead what we need to do is be kind be gentle be neutral and sit bring it back give it a treat and if it wanders, come back over and over and over again. 
How long does it take for you to train your puppy? Is it one time? Is it a hundred times? Is it a thousand times? It doesn't matter, but it takes effort. It takes continuity and over and over again, as gentle, as calm as you can. And the more we keep doing this, then the puppy will be trained. Then the more you keep practicing your mind with your thoughts, getting it peaceful, getting it soft, now your mind will be trained. And instead of it running wild and loose <laughs> with no discipline, bit by bit, you'll start to be more calm. You'll start to be more aware and relaxed. But this is a way for us, instead of trying to force, to control our mind, then we instead train it. But I hope this is helpful. And I hope these practical tools of eyes open or eyes closed, having that mindfulness, bring it to that anchor point over and over again, will help you to start this training process. But good luck with that. I hope it is helpful and please keep us updated on your progress. Satu, talk to you soon.